All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakarash, the waters, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akimwa, Akwa, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit. Brother Malak from GMS Detroit. All right, this is going to be the second part of the three part series. All right, this is heirs property, showing you how the heirs property um, law, if you will, right? Is another way that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, strips uh, strips power from the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and this here is the one of the reasons why we don't have our inheritances of land in this country. Generally speaking, when you know one of these minorities die, the majority of times we don't have a written will. A lot of us die suddenly, you know, you know, way unexpectedly. Uh, and even still, uh, you know, for the ones that are older age, we're not legal savants. We're not legal experts. So when you die and you have, you know, resources, it automatically by the state goes to, you know, immediate descendants. Well, the government knowing that we don't directly write wills and directly, you know, ha uh, appoint things to certain people, what they come do is basically buy everything out you know you can you can mix in Torrance title in there too uh, oh well since your great grandfather he didn't you know legally write his name on it or any of your names on it uh hordes are gonna come take it and that's basically what esau edom does so you know we just got done with uh highway racism highway segregation now let's take a look at how they strip your land from under you you know because here it is we built this land up so some of us did have, you know, certain plots of land, you know, a uh, 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 acre and a mule instead of 40. Well, how did all this get taken from us? How did we find ourselves pushed out of the country, you know, our land taken and forced into these inner cities where even there we're demonized and segregated against? All right, let's let it play and we'll get some scriptures. Now to an NBC News exclusive and good news for Americans who struggle to prove that they own their own homes. New federal rules aim to protect families whose homes and lands have been passed down over generations, often without a will or deed, the top cause of land loss for black Americans in the U.S. Here's Dasha Burns. In Bucksport, South Carolina, the battles are fought through faith and community. People here can trace their roots back to over a century of life on this land, which has been passed down generation to generation, often informally, without a will. The legal term for that is heirs' property. It's always called family land. It was only after post-flooding that we understood that had a legal ramification to it as well. Bucksport is in an increasingly flood-prone region. Back-to-back -back hurricanes in recent years devastated the area, and in 2018, Hurricane Florence destroyed that's Hazel Bellamy's home. Yeah, that's that water line from Florence. She found out she lives on Eric's property when she applied for FEMA aid. They couldn't approve us for certain things. It was a nightmare. Hazel's name is not on the deed. None of her living relatives are either. That meant they couldn't prove the land was theirs according to long-standing FEMA funding requirements. Eric's property owner can't get a mortgage have limited to no access to so that's one of the things you know oh you have a deed but you know y'all didn't fully get registered and you didn't write in this will who this is going to so we're going to come take it and as we're going to see who not who does this primarily affect negroes latinos and native americans Housing repair money because you cannot prove clear ownership. FEMA's new policy will change that by expanding the list of documentation they'll accept for individual assistance. But and, you know, yeah, they say that bullshit, but has it changed anything? No. Heirs property owners are still not in the clear. At any moment, an heir could sell his or her share, which then makes everybody vulnerable to having their property lost. When someone dies without a will, their heirs, kids, grandkids, great-grandkids, and so on, all own the land jointly as tenants in common. A property could end up with hundreds of part owners, and if just one of them decides to sell their share, that could result in the forced sale of the entire property below. Forced sale. So they convince one little nigga in the corner, one, one little poor cousin, and now they get to take all the family land and resources. Market value. About 60% of African-American-owned land is heirs' property and vulnerable to land grabs. Bucksport, just 30 miles from Myrtle Beach, is a prime target for developers. Development can be good and bad, but when you're in heirs' property, 
is definitely going to be a bad thing. And it's not just a problem for black Americans. It impacts the Native American community, people in Appalachia, and the Latino colonias on the border. Psh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You can't make this fucking shit up. Why? Because we're the Israelites. All right, so let's get some scripture. Um, psh, Micah. We're in the power of this man's hand. And what does he do with it? Does he, you know, so this is for, I, I do these videos for the people who talk shit on us, y'all. Oh, y'all are just lazy. Oh, y'all haven't y'all haven't done nothing. Y'all don't do anything. We tried. We tried doing everything y'all told us to do. We tried building our own banks, our own malls, hospitals, cities, speaking good, clear English, going to school. What did y'all do? Firebomb us. Black laws, right? Segregation. Uh Build highways to break the cities up. Here, heirs property. Strip us of our resources. All right, we're going to get into the black farmers next. All right. That'll be part three. So, justice has to come. All right, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they press a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. This is what they do. They take it because it is in the power of their hands, and they oppress our heritage. They strip us and cut us off from the things that were passed down to us. And this is just one of the methods. All right, once again, uh, heirs' property is the name of this one. And then you also have Torin's title. Let me let me get that real quick on Google. Okay, Torin's title. All right, and keep in mind, y'all, when many of these laws that are that were set up when were they set up right after slavery when we were still illiterate completely unaware of the legal system and we're still feeling the ramifications onto this day like that guy said at the beginning beginning of the clip when we find out about these things it's already too late for us okay it says torrens title is a land registration and land transfer system in which a state creates and maintains a register of land holdings which serves as the conclusive evidence termed indivisibility of title of the person recorded on the register as the proprietor the owner and of all other interests recorded on the register so this right here is a this is a nice way of just saying all you have to do is get a piece of paper that says that you own this land and you can own it no matter the fact that a, you know somebody else has been living there for 200 years if you run down to the local bureau first and say hey yeah uh uh yeah, uh, I'm uh, Chad Smith. Uh, yeah, I own this land. Uh, I want to do some renovation on it. Okay, cool. You know, you hand them a piece of paper with your signature. Here it is. You got whole, you got 400 families that live on the fucking land, man. But and this is what they do. This is what Esau Edom, the so-called white man, does best. They're murderers. And they don't like when the true history of how they gain their wealth and their power comes about. Did they do all this through fair dealing? No. Okay. Hey, this is another one. Property tax system. All right. You, you move in. Man, y'all. I could fucking... My fucking... Sometimes my head feel like it'll blow. Holy this dyke shit. It says how the property tax system harms black homeowners and widens the racial wealth gap. It says the U.S. tax system protects accumulated wealth, which creates a barrier to home ownership for lower income, low... Wealth households, black homeowners' property taxes tend to 13, 13% higher than for white homeowners, yet their homes are undervalued by an average of 21 to 23%. Amazing, of course. So here it is. We're being paid more for taxes on a home, uh, then it gets undervalued. So if you try to go resell it, there, you know, instead of you being able to make 100000 off of it, you can only make you know, 80000 Um I want to get back to the videos. I just wanted to familiarize y'all with this one as well. So we have heirs' property, we have Torrens' title, and we have property tax, right? Or, you know, sales, t uh, uh, land tax. These are some of the ways that they screw us over. Um, it says 20th century, so 1900s, Discriminatory housing policies and practices are it are indisputably responsible for segregating America's residential communities and contributing to existing racial wealth disparities. Tax law and practice 
uh, aggra aggravate these effects and place disproportionately heavy financial and oftentimes emotional burden on the average black homeowner. So, right, so basically we're paying more in taxes just cause, oh, you're, you know, you're from a low income area. So the chances of you defaulting are most likely going to be higher. So we'll just make you pay a little bit more year after year, year after year. And even when you get done paying it off, we're going to make you pay more. That's how they do you, y'all. That's how they, do, that's how they do you. That's how they do us. That's how they, that's how they, they do me and you. All right. I'm going to come back to that landmark scripture. Let me get me. Let me get this. This just came to mind, man. Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. This is how we know Esau will never be able to reign, y'all, because he got this unjustly through deceit, through murder, through bloodshed, through lying, coming up with punk-ass laws on pieces of paper to forever keep you down, to keep me and you down. But he not counting on Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai is are they're going to vindicate and justify us and save us out of this shithole. Imagine you inherit a family heirloom. Your extended family also inherits this thing. So you each Okay. This is for black you know, I'll deal with this. Uh I got the other video for black farmers. But let me let it play. Own a teeny tiny percentage of it. What if no one agrees on what to do with it? What if you risk losing it forever if just one person decides they want to sell? This nightmare scenario has been playing out on family farms for generations, and it's hit black-owned farms particularly hard. Heirs property, y'all. How many of us were taught? Now, if this system really wanted to, you know, get us together right here, the, you know, I, I, I went to school from what? 2000 and shit when i start school oh shit when i start school 03 to 16 something like that um you know you because you got older brothers and sisters right you know y'all went to school in the 80s and 90s right okay let's say education wasn't at the level that it was when i went if they truly cared about us why didn't they teach us these things oh you know okay okay uh we're gonna have a separate class today you know for the negroes latinos and native americans we need to teach y'all, you know, the white teacher voice. We need to teach y'all about heirs' property. Do your grandparents have you written in their will? You know, we go, we go, what's a will? Mrs. Je uh, Mrs. Jameson? Well, come here. You know, they didn't do us like that. They didn't sit us down and teach us the basics so we could overcome these disadvantages. They want us to stay disadvantaged so they can continue to rule over you. God damn it. So, so people like Vocab can go take the fucking sharpest fucking knife he can find and shove it up himself. This is the reality of these people. They didn't do this by justice and do hard work. They lied, stole, and killed. They murdered their way to the top. So if we think about the Jim Crow South and the... I'm gonna just take. I'm just taking it back so we can read. It says heirs' property is a property passed down through generations without a will. The inheritors of heirs' property may not be able to use their land fully or access federal programs that can help or uh, that can help improve it, or even lose it completely to predatory developers. And that's another thing, y'all. A lot of people who fall under heirs' property, you don't even know. You hear it is your great granddad died in Montgomery. You don't even know you're related to him. You're one of his descendants who can inherit the land, but you don't know because you're in fucking Bronx <laughs> fighting niggas over Snicker bars, bro. And then a Walmart gets set up on land that's supposed to be, man, come on. Man. So if we think about the Jim Crow South, individuals were not able to access the legal system, which means they weren't actually able to prepare themselves for their own departure. I steward 15 acres of land with the support of Farmer Greer and Mama Callie here. My name is Jasmine Elise Story. I am the descendant of farmers and I am also an inheritor of air property. And it has been a multi-generational 
struggle to make sure that that land was able to stay within our family. Some people have 200 heirs or 2,000 heirs attached to a property because you're talking about people who are able to purchase land at the turn of the century or right after they themselves were considered property. Over the course of the 20th century, black farm owners lost nearly 90% of their farmland. And 90 fucking percent from 14 from 14 million acres uh at the end of the 1800s going into 1900s into now one fucking million y'all 90 fucking percent these motherfuckers can anybody who anybody who talks shit on us can go eat a fucking dick as far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned and it, it just happened magically you know, we just fell out of love with the farm and fell in love with love and hip-hop, huh? Today, black farmers make up less than 2% of all U.S. farmers. Some likely reasons why include forced sales, lack of investment, and limited access to loans and government funding, all issues that affect heirs' property. Air property is vulnerable because it is held in common, which means any individual member who has individual interest in the property could eventually fall prey to so if your crackhead uncle or crackhead auntie you know if a, if a walmart invests hey hey uh auntie jezanan you, you want some uh we, we give you this little settlement of one hundred seventy thousand dollars. meanwhile the land the potential on the land is worth five million right and this is how they do they'll go you know they'll go run up on your crackhead auntie buy it off of her and now they can do a forced sell oh you know the rest of inheritors they don't want to give up the land but they're not doing anything with it we just put a hundred and seventy thousand dollars stake in it you know they run down to the bureau of whatever local state you know and now they uh, you know they throw a suit on it and, you know six months to a year later all that land is theirs and now you got walmart's popping up and your black ass is through and your crackhead auntie or uncle is back poor because they blew all that shit on crack to an outsider who might buy that interest and then they can cause a judge to uh, sell the entire piece of property and essentially the land is lost to the family. If you are being barred because of the structural violence of the past and our government's inability to address that in the present... You can tell it's hurting her. It just feels like it's another very, very open space where that promise is not being delivered in earnest. Heirs property continues to be an uphill battle for black farmers keeping and working their land. There needs to be more federal resources for black and minority farmers and landowners so they can resolve heirs property issues and get access to USDA programs that'll provide more help. Support for community-based organizations that provide legal and mediation services that help farming families can prevent... So that's it, y'all, man. We're not, that's the third video, man. We are so far removed from our culture. Man, that's in Genesis, y'all. We're a, we're a people. We're shepherd people, man. What the fuck? <laughs> but that's part three. But I was just letting y'all see that. I got one more clip. With um, Google Play Points, play unlocks more play. More rewards. Mitchell Jack. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm hoping, Lord willing, they don't take this video. Uh, so if the video, if I get copyrighted, I'm gonna cut the video here and redo the video. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna play it from another angle. This is a whole good video, how property law is used to appropriate black, black land. Uh, so basically, man, it starts with this family. They had this land, they're getting the land taken. But I wanna go specifically to see the mindset of the devils who come and get it. Cause you see he interviews one of the devils here. I want y'all to see their reasonings behind it. You know, so you, you see here, you know, this is the family. They're trying to fight to get it. And this devil comes in around right here. You get James Steele, an investor. All right. And this, this one right here, he was showing the legal, you know, he's the keeper of records trying to show, you know, um, you know, he's just showing how the, the game is played. But right here is when we get to see it. So if the video cuts, I might just have to cut all this off. So shalom if that's the case. But if not, we'll keep going. What we're going to do is get a scripture. Landmark, y'all. They're demons. They're fucking demons. Don't you ever think otherwise. All right. 
Deuteronomy 19 and 14, Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance, which, which thou shalt inherit in the land that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, thy power giveth thee to possess it. Okay, so you can't just roll around taking people's shit without, you know, us Israelites, uh, we took things when the Heavenly Father told us to, right? Uh, but even the heathen, the heathen have to have somewhere to live. I mean, damn, but you, <laughs> the Heavenly Father made all the world. He gave space for everybody to live. Us, the Israelites, we were given the best plot of land, the land of Israel. But, you know, we fucked that up. Now we're under the curses. But Esau, Edom, he just takes and takes and takes and takes and takes and takes and takes doesn't care he'll build walmarts from back to fucking back until all the resources on earth burn out if he was given the ability to do so that's why he has to be stopped all right isaiah 5 and 8 woe to them that join house to house that lay field to field till there be no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth so that's how this man gets down and what we're going to see at the end of this video here it is they're taking all this land just to do what we're going to see so let's look at the mindset of the devils who show up and knock at the door. $294.25. The floor is now open for bids. Do I hear a bid? How many people do you even think know that this auction is going on? It's like two people up in here. And he knows he's going to win. These are the, So while you're out at the court playing basketball, these devils are buying every... Man, come on, man. This is, this is, it looks like a sinister movie scene. Look at the look on his face. These are the people, these people like him are the reason why you don't have anything. His children and grandchildren go off to go to college and have all kind of six figure jobs and whatnot, start their business while you struggling and through. Now, granted, am I making an excuse for all of the wickedness that our people do? Of course not. Certain niggas don't, <laughs> certain niggas wouldn't know what to do with the fuck with a farm. Nevertheless, this man has done these crimes against us and he will pay regardless of our own behavior. Thousand two hundred ninety-four dollars and twenty-five cents. If so, just stick your name right there. Morning, Jim. Morning. How you doing? Fine. What just happened today here? <laughs> well, I bought an interest in a piece of land, an undivided interest. You know, when it's inherited, and there's a lot of heirs. Mm -hmm. I owned. 24 acres out of the 52 before before today you did yes and now you came and purchased the rest how much have you paid in total for 52 acres i would have to add that up because i'm don't get me wrong I, I do a lot of these and i can't keep them all in my head mm -hmm. how does heirs property fit into your overall business model to be truthful with it is probably 90 percent of my business 90% of his fucking business model, his entire stick is taking land from niggas in the South. He's just one of them. He appears to be over the age of 60. Now imagine this has been going on for hundreds of years. This is why you're stuck in the ghetto. Even going back to the Civil War, we're doing mm -hmm. something that the people... Going back to time for, since the Civil War, 1861, 1865, snitching on himself. The Civil War had it. I mean, they were slaves and had it. And I've had other landowners come to me and say, well, you file a lawsuit for me and do this because I don't want to be the bad guy. You be the bad guy because you already been the bad guy. You do this all the time. So, you so, so I'll be, so I'll you be the bad guy. You recognize that what you're doing is perceived. You look at me as evil. No, no, no. I Thou sayest. You look at me as evil. Look at him. He's smiling in your face while stealing your shit. You look at me as evil. <laughs> Thou sayest. You said you evil, so you are evil. Because he knows he's a fucking demon. Look at him. Caught you perfect. Caught you, bitch. <laughs> look at him, y'all. He said they've been doing... They started doing this to the slaves. I know I'm pausing a lot, y'all. But this shit, man, this shit run deep. Come on, man. No, no, I'm saying no. No, I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. That's a fucking devil for you. That's how they do, laughing, hee hee, ha ha, while killing you. What I'm saying is, to to the to the family member that wants to sell, you're bringing the bank, you're bringing the money. To the family member that doesn't want to sell, you're evil. Probably in their eyes. Yeah. yeah. And some people are sincere about not wanting to sell. 
they mean it. Most don't. Most say that, but they don't mean it. They just want instant gratification and money now. But there are some that don't want to sell on this. Usually the ones that live on the property, they're getting free rent, free everything. Their, their land, they're not free rent. Well, they only own a minuscule portion of it. I've heard it thousands of times. You can so we just saw property tax law we're paying 10 to 13 percent more and our values are being undervalued by 20 to 23 percent more we're not living on shit for free we're not living on shit for free we're not living on shit for free but that's how they justify what they do in their minds see y'all we just freeloading niggas that don't do shit see you make me sell my land and then I responded back. I said, yes, I can. What is my land? Well, it used to be. You know, that ain't that. Ain't really. <laughs> <laughs> he said it used to be. This is the game that they're playing. So the, these, this is who we're... And this is a low-level guy, right? The elites is really the ones calling the shots. But all these... E is working in unison to destroy you. All right, and that was really the last clip. Uh, y'all see what time? Actually, I'm gonna fast forward. I want y'all to see with what. So he's taking the land, right? And what are they doing with the land? They're fucking. T they're taking all the timber off it, man. Man, these some demons we're dealing with, y'all. These are some demons we're dealing with, destroying the Lord's good green earth and taking it from us just to spite us. This all goes back to that ancient hatred. All right. Uh. Uh. uh was I will put enmity, enmity between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. That's Genesis 3. Then you go to Genesis 25, Jacob and Esau. All right. To try to stabilize right. the ownership so that it's not... On these properties, Mr. Togo, he ain't going to build nothing on it. It's all for the temper. All for the temper. That shit looks horrible. They're killing the land. That shit looks horrible. Far as you can see on all these hills, this is fresh cut. I mean, right after he purchased, he went to cut. It was in the family for 125 years. All of this? All of this. My aunts and uncles' houses sat up on the top up here. Generations gone. You can see that has been wiped clean of pine and everything that you see pushed up, they're gonna come back and burn it and then replant. This is important that you stick together. You keep your interest together. You hold tight to your interest. And if you plan on doing anything with your interest, make sure you do it in the family. Keep it in the family. That's, that's where we fell short. That's where we fell short, y'all. He not lying, man. Damn, man. Hey, that's a hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to justify us and avenge us. Um, we we lost here. We lost in this world, but that's okay. Um, ultimately, you know, never trust thine enemy. I just want to get this out of Psalms. That's this is the complete. That's how the devil operates, man. He speaks smoothly, but what he got? You turn around, what's what's sticking through your spine, man? Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. All right, we just saw that Edomite and the Jake talking in that room. They, they speak like they give a fuck about you, but they're fucking unholy demons, y'all. That's as real as it gets. They're unholy demons. So that's it, man. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kakorash, the waters, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations, salvation, 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 learning and teaching and truth and sincerity. Shalom.